Right. Hello all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, what can we say? Lady from Coventry, she's had a sale through uh, Welcome Estates. Well done Tina in Coventry, hope you're well. Hey, we had about eight or nine leads now in one sale. Good luck, Tina. Big shout out to Spartan Demolition. Civil Engineering and Site Solutions. Big shout out to Scott and Lee. Big shout out to Gary, Carl and Lisa. Welcome to State. So Carl and Lisa in Al Gorfa. Hope you're well, Carl. Sons of Gun, is it? Sons of Guns or something? That body shop in Barnsley, time to ring me, some work for him. Right, let's get down to nitty gritty shall we? Down to nitty gritty, we'll get this body warmer off and we'll get, we'll get some out done. Uh, we all seen Beefy Smith's performance at weekend didn't we? Right. This is, this is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. Beefy Smith, right, has never been a roadman in his life. He's never been an ice man, ever. Ever. So how all of a sudden is he putting people to kick like he's doing? Look at the levels, he's taking care of these people. Last four fights, four KOs. When Conor Ben were doing that, we know what Beefy Smith were running around saying about Conor Ben, don't we? So the boot's on the other foot now. Right, the boot's on the other foot now. So, is Beefy Smith whacking down the special shakes? I say no. But, he's putting people to kip. Like he's never ever done, ever. It's jury out on him. I don't know. I personally don't believe he's a cheat. I believe you, Banks, fundamentally flawed. I believe that he's not the complete fighter and he's been pushed out there because of who his father is. That's what I believe. Just like Conor Ben, just like Campbell, hands of foam. Hatton. Hands of foam. So, I don't know what's happening, but Beefy's obviously put him to kip, so good, good luck to him when he does now, but if he's just put him to kip, let's see him in a proper fight now with Golovkin, who's, in, who's 41. Golovkin, 41. We're not going to bite into that for a pay We're 41 year old, are we? So that's not going to happen. Kelbrook, Kelbrook's finished, shot to pieces. That's my opinion. He's not the fighter he were, but he'll come back for a pay-per-view, won't he, and sell his name for one more payday. And the people around Kelbrook will want that to happen. Flex, and all them other uh, people that hang out the back of Kelbrook, they'll all want paying. So he will be wheeled out again, Kelbrook, even though he's a shell of a fighter that he were. Shell of a fighter. He could have been our Terry Norris in. I always say that, don't I? So I see Kelbrook and Beefy, but I can also see Beefy and Eubank rematch because it's Sky Sports, it's on a plate, he'll have got paid for this one Eubank, he knows he'll be paid for the next one, they're just going to have to find a script to write, aren't they? And the script to write is, what I think they'll go for is, my brother passed away, and all the sorts of problems with weight, and, and trying to prove a point, prove a point that I could have made the weight, Eventually, even though the fight was cancelled, it still went on, didn't he, losing that weight? He should have been replenishing, shouldn't he, if the fight's off? Why go to prove a point? Who cares? So there's that, plus the fact that he'll say he had a bad night at the office, beefy fought out his skin, blah de blah de. We'll be left with all their excuses. Look, main thing is, the better man won on the night. They've got a rematch clause and go at it again. But... Who wants to see a rematch? Because it was conclusive, wasn't it? It's like I said in a recent video. We saw Frotch Boutte, didn't we? They had a rematch. But after the first one, there were no rematch needed, was there? 
bit like Joshua Rusek. The first one, we didn't need to see a rematch because they won the first one conclusively. Carl Froch Groves weren't a conclusive ending, they needed a rematch. Beefy against Eubank Jr, it was a conclusive ending. We don't need a rematch. We need Beefy to go fight Golovkin, but you're not going to get that, are you? He's already been a world champion, it's about a pound note, so if they can get Kel Brook on pay-per-view, Conor Ben, Amir Khan, any of them, I'm sure that uh, everybody will be happy, won't they? Because all it is is recycled, recycled, recycled rubbish. That's what this is, Edward, isn't it? It's recycled rubbish. Beefy Smith's 34, his best days are behind him. No. No. Alright. So we're going to see, aren't we, but I'd have thought. Beefy against Billy Joe, Beefy against Brooke, Beefy against Ben. You'd have to put Billy Joe in that mix, but there's no way on this earth he can do £160, is there? He's as far as a pig, Miss Mitchell in man. Looks like a snowman in that white fleece, Billy Joe. Have you seen the size of him? Hey? The man makes John Fury look thin! Big John Fury, big fighting man in the ring or on the hard road! Pop, pop, bang! MI5 are watching me from the moon! 200 kilo deadlifts with you know what. <laughs> you like that one, don't you, John? We're going to do a uh, raffle in a minute. Porky's Corner. Welcome Estates. Refer a friend. P-E-M scheme, is it, John? What's it called? Refer a friend. Refer a friend. We're going to do a raffle in a minute in the Tom Bowler. Ha! <laughs> Jim! So it's all good stuff. They brought John here to keep an eye on me. All the way from the Wirral. Welcome to States Company, man. That you, John? That's me. You're the Johnny Nelson of Welcome to States. <laughs> Thanks, come here, come here to check on the pork. Check he's yeah. doing his job. But no, that's about it really, I just think that uh, it's going to be a, a tough road back for Eubank and I think an even tougher one for Beefy because Beefy's beat a gimmick, a shell of a man with no fundamentals so people are getting carried away but this is Beefy's best win isn't it? And you know, it was Eubank's best win? Shot half Raymer, I'm going to shot, shot the Gale, that's it. But we all remember Beefy's reign of terror, don't we? Jimmy Kelly at WBO and John Thompson or some whatever, somebody Thompson or something. Whatever. The guy the guy the American guy wore it. Either way, uh, it's it's uh, it's a decent C V Beefy's in it. But the uh, the best win he's got, you'd have to say is Eubank, wouldn't it, you really? And um, and I think he would have it's a gimmick, Eubank, me, a gimmick. But okie dokie, so that's about it really. Okie dokie. Peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. Big shout out to my mate Frank in Berry. Hope you're well. Bye before the boo! Welcome to States. We've got a summer sale on. Alright, this summer. <laughs> Peace out. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Sight Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.